Well, now 24 hours have passed since the eclipse, and while most of us are left with just the memories, some solar spectators might also be left with some permanent damage. We're talking about eye damage, and despite plenty of warnings to wear the proper glasses out there, doctors say they're already getting some calls for help. News Force Greg Sergal live in Jones Beach with some expert advice for us. Hi, Greg. Hey, Natalie, and uh, here along the boardwalk at Jones Beach, we're enjoying another brilliant display by the sun today. But as you said, a day after we turned our eyes skyward for that eclipse, we're asking a simple question. How's your vision? Monday's images of millions focusing on the eclipse with their protective glasses underscored one point. Using just these to stare at that show in the sky was risky. I was totally fine on it. I looked at it for like 20 seconds here, another 20 seconds, and everything's totally fine today. Justin Taby may have dodged trouble after watching the eclipse using only prescription sunglasses. But today, others are finding out they weren't so lucky. It depends on how long you've been staring at the sun and how much damage there was. This Stony Brook medicine ophthalmologist says already a small number of patients have come in reporting eye issues after viewing the eclipse. So most of the time when they have this, they see floaters in their vision, like black dots in their vision. Dr. Gorgani says your vision might seem fine today, but sometimes it takes a couple of days after the eclipse for eye issues to pop up. We had glasses, we got them from the public library, and I think that they're totally safe and we had no problems with our eyes afterwards. This Seaford grandmother is glad that nothing spoiled her eclipse watching experience. But if you notice any floaters or black dots in your vision, see your eye doctor right away. Sometimes that damage will heal on its own, but experts say staring at the sun too long can literally burn the cells in your eyes, and that damage can be permanent. Typically, when someone looks at the sun, they look away because it's so bright. So we actually don't see real true solar retinopathy that often, but it is a, definitely a risk. Again, if you use those protective glasses yesterday, you shouldn't have a problem. But Dr. Gorgani says those who did not should continue to monitor their vision. We're live at Jones Beach. Greg Sergal, News 4 New York.